what is DC4? DC4 is an English, private English institute for um, Korean children from grade 1 to grade 8. DC4 is a place where students can learn English in a free natural environment. I guess DC4 is a group of teachers who actually want to succeed in improving the practical language skills of their students. In a word, heuristic learning. Learning for the sake of actually acquiring a usable skill. So, not learning for getting a job, not learning to make more money, not learning to pass the test, learning to actually learn the subject matter that you're learning. The reason we have no tests and exams is because if you give them tests and exams, the way kids think is like they only care about the score. So if you take away the tests and scores, then it's the teacher's job to make the activity or project or whatever they're doing as interesting as possible. And then they will be more motivated to do something creative where they're making something or producing something like a debate, speeches, or a documentary like this. And you'll naturally be interested in doing it rather than doing it for a score on a test. So in 2008 is when I came to Korea. When I was working, Greg was already working. So I started working with Greg. Um, I was an awful teacher my first year. Um, I didn't really think it was like a serious job. So I just thought I'd go in there and talk to a bunch of kids and then be like, hi, how are you? And then I, I would leave and they would pay me money. I didn't realize like I had to actually like read and teach and like do vocabulary and explain how to do things. So anyways, Greg was uh, a big help to me because he already has been teaching for a while, uh, became friends with him. Uh, Jay is one of my oldest friends uh, from Chicago. So I, I was in Korea for like eight months and then I was like, hey, this is so fun. You should come. And then he was like, OK. And then he got on an airplane and basically came. Um, and then, you know, when we decided to open DC4, uh, those two guys were part of it. I knew I was always going to own my own business. And I had a plan, or not a plan, but I had an idea that I wouldn't necessarily open an academy, but I would be teaching privately in Korea. I had quite a good relationship with Paul, and I trusted him, and I knew that uh, Jay and Paul were very close, and we'd all worked together and we'd all seen each other work, so we all knew that we were capable of teaching at a high level and, and working well, and I wasn't, um, I was comfortable that I could trust them in a business. We, we actually looked at several locations, but we felt like um, this place is actually one of the main centers for English. We came to Anyang and I didn't know what to expect, but when we came into Anyang and then we saw Academy Street, there's so much real estate in just this area that is almost totally academies. So we thought, oh, okay. This is a good opportunity for us to find a building that we want. But there's a large market for private English academies in the area. We had zero students when we first opened. 
So we're just three knuckleheads just sitting there with nothing, just, oh, we're open, but we have zero students, right? And we didn't know what to do. Eric Kang, or Kang ji is his name. Um, he was one of the first students. I remember, like, telling Eric's mom, I was like, we're going to teach your kid for free for the first month. And please tell as many people. And she's like, are you sure you're going to teach? If She's like, if I bring 50 people, are you, are you going to, you know, teach all these people for free? And I was like, you can bring 50 people? Yeah, yes, please. We'll teach them all for free. Um, it ended up being like... 30 people or no 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 20 people I don't remember it was 20 or 30 and out of those 20 or 30 they were going to two academies at the same time so they were going to whatever academy they were going to and DC4 just to test it and then after one week I think uh, 19 of them quit their other academy and signed up at DC4 and then one kid stayed at the other academy so then that was like the beginning Hi, my name is Kyler Fife. I'm a teacher at DC4. I'm originally from Canada and I've been living in Korea since the end of 2003 and I've been teaching at DC4 since 2016. I worked with Chris and Peter and then I was introduced to Greg and Paul through a mutual friend, Steve. And then after knowing Greg and Paul, I became friends with Jay. We have a lot of discussions about education and teaching and our philosophies and methodologies and I realized that uh, the things they were doing here and the way that they were teaching here was much closer in line to my sort of ideals. I work with five of my closest friends in Korea and so we're far from co-workers, we're even closer than friends. They're basically like my family, they're basically my brothers. So getting to work every day with not only people that you're super close with and you share similar hobbies and ideas, but you also are equally passionate and motivated about teaching, makes me strive to want to do a better job and in turn also mo motivate them to also do better. So yeah, my working conditions, I don't think I could ask for a better workplace environment. DC4 has a lot more freedoms than the other academies I worked at. Um, other academies have very strict minute-by-minute -minute schedules. The curriculum here gives the teacher a lot more freedom. DC4 sees value in having natural conversations with students, allowing students to express their opinions, to debate, and to defend themselves, and kind of give organic language learning as opposed to read this and answer these five questions. My name is Chris Hocking. I'm currently DC4's uh, newest teacher, and I was actually working in Japan as an English teacher at the time when the team at DC4 reached out and asked if I was interested in joining. And two years later, here we are. I feel like I'm just repeating what everyone else has probably said by this stage, but honestly, for me, DC4 is about freedom. I can change whatever we're learning, whatever I'm teaching at the moment, if we need to, so that every student gets what they need. There's just a lot more fun. I love coming into work, I love the people I work with, I love teaching this way, the students love learning this way, and at the end of the day, I'm, I can pretty confidently say DC4 students can leave this building and they can go out and they can use English as a language, not just as a subject to pass in a test, but they can express themselves, defend themselves, whatever they want, whatever they need to in a second language. And that's pretty awesome.
speaking Korean and speaking English is very different for me. And speaking English, my thoughts, I think my thoughts grow while I'm talking. So while I'm talking with my friend, it's fun talking with my friend and also I think my skills of English improve. So I think that's good for me. And DC4, I don't know why, maybe it's DC4's power, but we get to talk with our friends. Even though, like, for example, if we are not, like, friends or, like, if we met the first time, it makes me want to talk. Not, not like other academies. Because, like, so I think maybe that's DC4's power. DC4 like teaches us or like real life thing and prepares us for like real life English with the other academies or like just teaching words and telling us what to do but DC4 is more freestyle and I think that is more better. DC4 is a place where I can play and also learn. So I really love to speak English, not even in academies or at school. I usually do speak English at home, but if I come to DC4, I get to communicate with a lot of students and other teachers. So I really love coming to DC4. DC4 was very interesting to go and going to DC4 was not going to learn but it made me think that going to DC4 was going to interact with actual human beings with just only a different language so I think that was the reason I continued to attend to DC4 and I really wanted to learn English as a language and I didn't want to just forget my English ability and decay all the English ability I've accumulated for years and I didn't want to make my English just focused on grammar and just getting a high score on the test so that was the reason I am continuing DC4 and why I will continue DC4. I think DC4 helps us communicate with people in a second language, in English, as fluently as if we were speaking our first language. So it was like being in Korea, paying less, and yet experiencing the same thing as you can in the Korean school. The goal is always to grow, right? To grow, be bigger, um... The main goal is for us to not really change and, and stick to what we believe in and what the way that we want to teach and the things that we want to do. Yes. Grow. More students. Fill the building. <laughs>